Sinfest 24, I'm here on the booth of the University of Angers with Mathieu and Dominique. How are you? Hello. Fine, fine. It's very, uh, very good to be here to present uh, yeah. our, our project. You have a very interesting project. You Thank have, you. You are creating a uh, open source polyphonic analog synthesizer. Exactly. How does this project come from? Where does it start? It? Well, it started, uh, let's say, two years ago when I saw a re-edition of a single voice chip, the AS3397, which was used in the Matrix 1000. And uh, talking with Dominique, I said, there's something to make with this chip. It's, quite a, it's not very expensive. It's, uh, on one chip, you have all the voices of a synth. And just using a microcontroller like an Arduino or Pipeico, it would be very easy to uh, have uh, full voices and then go to polyphonic synthetizer. So that was the starting point. And then there was a student, an internship student, that helped us a lot for, for uh, soldering and everything. And uh, we have um, a working prototype. And then we, uh, we go to the polyphonic, we have uh, gone to a polyphonic uh, synthetizer. And so far, it's, well, it works very well. But it's not part of the uni university, mm -hmm. but it's more part-time, or? Yeah, part-time, yes. Uh, Dominique and, uh, and I are more on the optic, uh, on the nonlinear optics and spectroscopy. Okay. But uh, we are also musicians and uh, we love uh, electronics also, so it was a very nice uh, side project, in fact. And you plan to release it as an open source project oh, yes. that everybody can Totally. It. Can I show the uh, QR code for the GitHub? Or oh, it's fine. Or... So this is the, the QR code. We have just uh, pushed it on GitHub uh, a few days ago. And so this is uh, very basic. It's working, the, the point, uh, 1.0 version uh, of a working uh, design. And uh, can you give me maybe a, a deeper look at the function, or how, how does it structure, how it works? Okay, so um, the main part is the chip over there, which has a two uh, VCO, two oscillators, in fact, the digitally controlled oscillator. So um, it's uh, very easy to control the frequency. You don't have to tune the polyphonic synthesizer because most of the time with uh, analog polysynths, it's complicated to tune every vo voice uh, exactly the same. So here it's quite easy since uh, the tuning is done by the microcontroller. Then you have um, a VCF over there, which is a, 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 a fourth order low pass. Okay. And a VCA, which is stereo. What's nice on the reedition of this uh, chip is that you can uh, put an external input. And so since uh, the microcontroller over there has two core, we have used the second core to generate a, a numeric signal that is here plugged over there, and um, we have a numeric signal going through the, the analog filter. Mm. So there is also a lot of improvement for possibility to adapt the code to have uh, every type of synthesis. Could be FM, could be... Uh, okay. uh, and here, right now, we are using to uh, synthesize a white noise, but we could, uh, can inject over there. And how much voices does it test, it, this initial op uh, open source project? Sorry, uh, how, how many voices? Oh, yes, how many? Uh, here we have 10 voices, but in fact, it can be up to, uh, let's say, 120 voices. Okay. It would be a very, uh, a lot. And it's quite pluggable, in fact, uh, plug and play. And uh, at, the, at the starting, it uh, check uh, how many voices are there and then allo allocate. So here I can play different notes. And as you can see with a green light, uh, it allocates the 10 voices. And I see... Um Every voice is structured the same. It's yes. the voice chip and then a recipe on it. Oh? Exactly. It acts as like a, an autonomous, autonomous monophonic, uh, monophonic synth. In fact, you could just have one card and will be a monophonic synth. Oh, so can you can you could also create uh, just mono. Synth. Yes, just use one. And then, uh, it's, well, uh, there is here what we call the conductor board that uh, receives MIDI signal and then set it to uh, each voices. Okay. So uh, it's a quite modular approach, in fact. Here it's uh, still a prototype, but uh, very soon we'll have also a definitive board for this part. And here's a bit uh, the structure of it. So. Yes, uh, here it's uh, just a prototype for the controller. But when you do make this controller, you, here you have a lot of possibilities right now. You can make any sound, uh, any synth you want, I would say. Here I have a, we have fixed the structure and we have only one LFO, for instance. Okay. But definitely, if you want to create a synth with eight LFOs, why not? And LFO uh, driving another LFO, it's totally doable. Okay. Here we wanted to do a very basic synth, you know, uh, that everyone can uh, rely on and see, uh, uh, know exactly what it's uh, doing. Okay. And it's not finished, but it will be uh, soon. 
What you have now uploaded in GitHub, is this already uh, the complete synth? Yes, or? for this one, yes. You have uh, all the uh, electronics, all the uh, uh, firmware, the code for everything over there. So this so. is a, uh, so a two oscillator, a, a two oscillator block polysynth, or with ten yeah. voices. Yes, exactly. Each block is a is a, vo a voice, mm -hmm. and uh, and with the low pass filter. A low pass filter is integrated, and two oscillators, of, uh, uh, so a VCF and a stereo uh, modulation, and also you can code what you want as a numeric signal. Okay. And uh, and how many uh, envelopes you have on the on the base and now in the in this structure? Right now on the code, I think there is one, but uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, calculation uh, power left in the. In the so okay, the envelope is always digital. But, but since the VCA is uh, also analog, mm -hmm. uh, the envelope also is uh, also analog. We are just sending the command, you know, the VCA of uh, change the level. Of, uh, I mean, the brain is numeric, but it send analog voltage, and here. It's controlled uh, via okay. via envelope. Is also uh, but no effect also. No? Uh, not uh, right now, but we have some uh, room over there. It will be a numeric one. But when we de de design this board, we'll have uh, some pluggable uh, extension to have a numeric uh, a loop, F FX loops, numeric or even maybe uh, analog. If uh, someone wants to add it, can we hear it also a bit? Or oh, yes. maybe some. As some if basic some page, yeah, if you have some patches or some. Oh yeah, um, a very basic one, which is a, a resonance saw, and with uh, some uh, something like that, and I can change here the, the filter. As you can see, the sound is quite raw. It's uh, uh, right now we have. a... And then I uh, yes, I can change uh, some uh, signal. Uh, let's say uh, this one, wait, I can change totally the, 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 quite the same or changing maybe more release and some modulation. We don't have a lot of presets right now, and that's uh, the point also to have an open source project. Maybe some people maybe will do. Maybe next year Synthfest it will be bigger and more yes, presets. Yes, exactly. And as for a preset, maybe we'll do some presets for sure, but maybe it will be done by uh, some Taiwanese guy that uh, have, uh, found in love with the project. A, you have, a, I'd say, not a dream, but you have int uh, something, a point where, say, where you are very satisfied uh, with the project. Yes, uh, right now it's not so bad uh, just to uh, standardize everything. And then uh, we have some idea to have a Eurorack format, for instance, okay. format. Also, but also, also I see on the side of uh, what people are doing with it. Yes, also, and it's open source, so uh, maybe you will be amazed that for what uh, some people will, that have encompassed the project uh, uh, will do with that. I have some also uh, very uh, specific idea for me uh, with some uh, video game music, VGM format, and so it, so someone could take the the synth and sell it. Is yes, it allowed or totally allowed as soon as it cites us as just uh, intellectual uh, credit. Okay. Yes, it's it's fine uh, as long as it's cited that uh, it was initially uh, done by uh, the University of Angers, Dominique and I. Okay. It's fine. Totally. Okay. So the project is now on GitHub. Yes, right? exactly. And uh, uh, what name you can find it? Uh, on the PolyU analog. This one, well, it's just poly, poly UI, like a University of Angers analog. Okay. okay. That's, that's the idea over there. The, the pun. Okay. That's it. And uh, on the guitar. Then I wish you good luck with this project. I'm very interested, uh, looking forward to see what happens with this code and what people are doing with it. Okay. So, big Thank thanks. You. Thank you. Uh, big thanks, you very much. Mathieu and okay. Dominique. Thank you. And I wish you a good uh, uh, Synthfest24. Yep. Thank you. And see you in the next video. Bye.